What's going on gals and guys? Ryan from Thread Chemistry T-Shirt and Print Company back with you. Today we have another smart home video. Uh, we will be getting back to the screen printing, embroidery, and small business videos. Uh, try and go every other here soon, but today I, I, I couldn't help it. I had to get this video in. I, I'm super excited if you can't tell. This one is, this one, this one's cool. Uh, it's actually a uh, follow-up or a part two, a sequel, I guess, if you will, to one of my other videos, uh, which was the Govi Immersion Kit with light bars, which is the LED light that goes behind your TV with the camera uh, that transfers the color to a transformer to the LED lights and throws them off the back wall of whatever color is on your TV. So you get that whole immersion hence the name, right? Uh, I will throw that video up right here uh, so you guys can check it out. If you haven't seen that, please check that out before you watch this video. But check out that video and come back and check out this video because we got something in store for you. So basically, I'm gonna do a very quick unboxing today. Then we're gonna get into the app. We're gonna, we're gonna add it, we're gonna set it up real quick. We're gonna place it and then a little something something's gonna happen that uh, I don't want I don't want to give it away but uh, stick around and check it out without further ado that product is the Govi glide lively lights the 610 a set there are a few different sets we'll go over quick also I'm sure some of you guys know about this I have another set uh, I'm pretty familiar with them uh, they're, they're really cool but uh, what we can do with these now is what's gonna make the show, right? <laughs> so anyway, for all of you looking at the Glide Livelies and interested in them, I wanted to do a full unboxing for everybody and get it all set up, uh, set up in the app, get them placed on my wall in my living room here, go over a couple things about them, which I'm sure a lot of you who know these are probably not even aware of, which I will also go over that is kind of important. So anyway, without further ado, uh, I know I say it a lot, it's gonna be a quick video and sometimes they aren't so quick, but today I wanna get to the matinee showstopper, uh, encore, whatever you wanna call it. So let's go ahead and get this baby unboxed. Let's head over to the table, open it up, see what we got in it. See you guys in a sec. All right guys, here we are. Let's get into it. Uh, again, our Govi Glide Lively wall lights. This is the 610A set. Just FYI, there is a 610B and then a B6062 that comes in a couple different sets. And we'll go over those here in just a second. For now, let's get this bad boy open and see what we got. All right. Look at that. It's, uh, Gobi is always so pretty. Just everything about their packaging, the, their outer and inner packaging, they're really, really good about that. I've always kind of admired that about them. I'm sure that's probably part of the reason that made them so popular. Anyway, let's see what we got here. All right, adapter, of course. What do you think that is? The adapter. This is obviously the on-off lights, brightness, and then the connection, which has two separates, obviously, because we have, like I said, the 610A, which is six units of these bad boys. Let's get one unwrapped real quick. That is one of these bad boys right here, one of these segments. As you can see, they are ports. Keep this in mind. We have a port that goes straight in right here, and then, of course, on the other side, we have the, let's call it a male side and a female side. So keep that in mind. So that's one of the segments. We have our adapter. Let's get our control box out. We all know what this is. Just the control box that will plug into the adapter, like so, and plug into the wall. Bam, bam, run our lights for us. Other than that, really, uh, they do have some alcohol wipes for you so you can wipe down your wall before you put your adhesive strips that they give you. They give you a pretty decent set of adhesive strips. Not anything cheap for sure. They got some, they got some weight to them. So if you plan on hanging 
your my lively lights on the wall, which I don't know where else you would put them, but uh, <laughs> if you do plan on that, which I hope, always make sure to wipe down your wall, clean your wall first, then the adhesive strips, and then your Glide Livelys. So uh, other than that, there's just a user manual and Gobi's typical, your journey begins now. I think they put this in everything, uh, asking if we need help, uh, connect on social media, uh, join the Gobi home, blah, blah, blah. So uh, other than that, it is just five more segments. I'm gonna go ahead and get these bad boys out quick and we will start putting these bad boys together. All right, guys, here we go. We got uh, all six of our segments, or our light bars out. We got our adapter, our control box, our adhesive strips, and our alcohol wipes. So uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. Like I think I just showed you a second ago. Take your control box and your adapter, and they just A and B connect just like that. Those will plug into your wall, this side. And again, this is only for the 610A and the 610B. So I'll go ahead and tell you about those two right now. A little thing that you might want to take into consideration if you're just buying these, the 610A is a six piece kit. Obviously this is a 610A kit. This is what you get. Now with this, you can only match three pieces together at a time. So you could do two, but you can't put four on the other. So you basically would be wasting one, okay? Kind of forces you basically to have three and three, right? That's kind of why I chose this one. Also on top of it, the cost, it's quite a bit cheaper than the B6062. Um, and for a couple other reasons, we'll go over in a second. But anyway, this, this is the 610A. The 610B actually comes with 14 pieces. However, you can only match two of those up max. Two light bars max. So basically, no matter what you do, you're gonna have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. You can only do two, obviously, you might be able to do one, uh, but again, you can't add that other one to another set of two to be three, so you would just have to discard it. Uh, another thing about the 610B is that the adapter, like these here, it's a little bit shorter, so wherever you're gonna put them, they're all going to be right next to each other. Two, 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 two. Or you could put them on the wall, you know, like this, two, 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 two. You know, or maybe uh, sideways, two, 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 two. But you can't do, let's say, two, and then two, and then two, two. It, they all have to be parallel with each other. They can't be per perpendicular at all. So, I don't know, it's, it's, you know, to each is their own. If you have that kind of area that cover that space, uh, that might be cool. I bought these specifically to go on the outside of my TV. I wish you could add on to these. Uh, you cannot. They don't have any sets that you can add on to. So that is the reason I went with the 610A as opposed to the 610B. Um, and then the B6062 I'll talk about in a minute. But anyway, we have our six. So basically we have four and two. These are just gonna be end caps for our two sections. So what we're gonna do, each of these has a female and a male end. We're just gonna take two of them, one male end to the female, and then we're gonna grab one of our end caps. As you can see, this side doesn't have any reproductive organs <laughs> that we're referring to. Uh, it just has the female side on one side. So we'll go ahead and click that in. And there it is, our one full piece. Can't even quite get, oh, maybe I can. Get in the camera right there. And then we'll do it again with this one. We'll just take the one with the male and the female. Male and the female. And then our one with only the female. <laughs> Stick her in. And there it is. So now we have both of our wall segments done. All we have to do is go over and plug it in where we choose, and we are going to do that by the TV. So uh, let's go over. I'm going to scrub down the wall. No sense in you seeing that. I already got my adhesive strips on. As you can see, they do have a paper peel. So once you're ready to place, all you do is you peel that off, 
stick it to the wall. So uh, th these are just leftovers, extras that were in there. So uh, we'll leave those off to the side for a rainy day. We'll go wipe our wall with our alcohol wipes and get ready to place these bad boys and get one step closer to the grand finale. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, here we are. We are back. I got my walls wiped down. I plugged in the power brick with the adapter unit and I placed one side on over here because I'm gonna hang one segment or one set of three. We're gonna put those right over here and then I took the other side of the adapter. I placed it over here because we're gonna put the other three set about right over here on this side of the TV. We got those ready to go. I do have my lightsabers right here. Um, no, but uh, seriously guys, you have to be careful with these because like I said, they do not snap together. If you are not careful, these things will just wiggle themselves right out. They, they will fall right out. They, they don't snap together, they don't click, they don't, you can walk around with them. Like I'm already being dangerous with this other one. But uh, yeah, so anyway, just be careful with them as I am not. So that is one of the downfalls of this set, the 610A and B. It's just, they're just so flimsy and they will break very easily. But the other set, you know what? I'll tell you about those right now. The B6062, they are a little bit different. You'll definitely know the difference. As I showed you earlier, these just pull apart and you stick them together. The B6062, they're more like, uh, almost like a Lego set. You clip them in, so you would be up here and it just has a groove and it clips in like so. So they're much more sturdy together. Uh, they're actually, I think, made of a little bit stronger material. They are technically the superior model to these, but the thing about those is, okay, so you can buy those in two different sets. You can buy them with six segments in one corner. It's just an L shape, right? Or you can buy it with eight segments in four corners, okay? So the thing about those is that, I guess technically, if you bought the six with one, you can actually add on. Basically, the max segment you can have is eight, but you can have 12 total pieces. So that second configuration, the eight segments in the four corners, that is the max you can have. The thing about that set though, guys, okay, it only comes with one adapter. So when you put your pieces together, you either have to put all of them together, or if you don't want that many, or you wanna, well, let me just tell you now, you can't break them up in sets. It's completely impossible, no matter which way you go about it. Don't, don't even think about buying another adapter. Don't think anything. It's not possible because, like I said, you can do up to eight, 12 total. The packages only come with one adapter. Unlike these that come with the adapter with dual sides, that only has one side adapter. Okay, so you have to put everything on there that you're gonna put on there. If you buy, let's say, the six and one, and you wanted to add on to that, you could go out and buy another six and one. So you would either have to do that separately, but if you wanted to add on, you would only be able to add on two of those six that you bought, remember, because it's only eight segments, and then the one corner. So with the six in one set, if you bought two of them, technically you could only use eight of the units, so you would have four left over, and then you only get one corner with that set, so you would only have two. So if you bought two of those sets, you would only have 10 pieces total. With the other set, the uh, eight pieces and the four corners, that one, like I said, you can put all of that together, but you can only do it in one full swoop, one design, one layout. And the thing about it is, and it's made quite a few people upset I've seen just reading comments and replies, Govi doesn't, and it doesn't seem like they want to, they do not sell a separate adapter so you can break those pieces up. If you go on like 
Amazon or even Govi's site and you read uh, Q&As, 95% of them are, how, where can I find an adapter for the B6062 so I can make two segments? Do you guys sell uh, an adapter for the B6062s? Are you ever gonna come out with a adapter for the B6062? Their answers are always, no, we don't sell one. Or, you know, something like, uh, we don't currently have anything in the works, basically, you know, something along those lines. So basically telling everybody no, they don't have one and probably not gonna get one. So it's kind of screwy how they do that. As one thing, I like Govi a lot, quite a bit actually, but these lights are one thing. Like these technically, you know, you have to do these in three and three, right? The other set of these, you have to do in two, 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 two. The other model, you know, you buy six and one and you don't know much and you want to add on, you either have, you basically have to buy the other six and one and then basically make two out of them. But if you want a longer line, you're going to have four extra segments and you're not going to have enough corners to, to make as many as you can. So it's, it's, and then if you buy the eight and four, you basically have to make a configuration out of just those and there's no way you're gonna find another adapter that's all there is to it so it's 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 kind of, I don't I don't I don't know what it is it's just like what why why won't you come out with another adapter why can't we add on to this why can't I break this up into four and two why, you know why can't the 14 be six and eight you know I, I don't get it and it doesn't make sense it upsets a lot of other people so and Govi is all about their customer satisfaction, so why aren't they doing something about it? It just ra it just grinds my gears, guys. It grinds my gears. Anyway, we got some we got some stuff to get to. So anyway, that that was the whole thing about the models and the different configurations, um, so on and so forth. Just it's just outrageous. So make sure that you pay attention when you're buying them, and make sure you get what you want out of basically those four options, right? You can have the three and the three. You can have the two, 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 two to to total 14. You can have the six and one, or you can have the eight and four. That, that's, bit, that's it. So, and the only ones you can break up are the three and three and the two, 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 two. The other one, the B6062, all has to be one line. It cannot be broken up into two. And they don't sell an adapter, by the way. I don't know if I told you that. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just had to tell you guys that I, 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 you know, I learned that a while back and I was kind of just mind blown by it and I wanted to include that in the video when I made it and so there it is. So anyway, I hope it helps some of you guys out. Uh, if you guys have any questions about that or didn't really understand what I was saying, I don't know if I worded that well. Um, but uh, yeah, just, just throw some questions down below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Anyway guys, I think it's that time. Let's go ahead and get these bad boys on the wall. Remember we put the three together. The one on top, remember, didn't have an open end, right? So make sure that you put this end on the ground, unless your wall plugs are up by the ceiling, but uh, you're probably gonna want your adapter cord to be laying on the ground. That's another thing I'll get to in a minute. The adapter cord is not very convenient and also by the way I did kind of hand measure it just a minute ago when I was plugging it in and the separation you have approximately 9 to 11 it's probably right at 10 feet so that is your that is your distance you can set them apart is about 10 feet so anyway guys let's go ahead and get this hooked in We'll go ahead and do that right now. It just snaps right in and I'm gonna place this bad boy. You might wanna do these one at a time because like I said, they're really flimsy, they're really weird. So I just actually took off the adhesive strip of, of the top one for now because I'm going to turn them on and see how I like them there first. And if I like them, then I can take the rest of the the back, the paper off of the adhesive strips. Now let's grab our other one, throw it up. Just take your other adapter right here. Plug it right in. I'm gonna try and be equal distance. Again, I just did the top one of this one. How's that look? I think that looks pretty good. 
Actually, I'm gonna drop this one. There's one nice thing there, Velcro adhesive. I don't. I guess I don't know what that would benefit, but if you just wanted to take the segments off the wall, not rip the adhesive off, you could, but I don't know why you would want to do that, I guess. <laughs> All right, there we go. That looks good to me. I kind of bent at the bottoms. You know what, I'm gonna take the... See, did you, I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but that, it just fell apart on me. I should have my level. I'll just lightly tack it for now, because that is definitely not level. That's better, I guess. And this one will do the same thing. When you're doing this, kind of push all three of them together so they kind of give you that straight line as opposed to them bending, you know what I mean? Like I was kind of showing you earlier. Yeah, I would recommend doing these one at a time so you can get them straight. I might take them off after this video and redo them, but uh, for now, I think we got them on there pretty well, huh? All right, guys, so we got our Govi Glide Lively wall lights placed. They're up, and now all we have to do is get them added on the app. If you don't have the app yet, of course, go to the Play Store or the Apple Store and download the Govi app. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. One more thing. So if we were to leave them here, which this is kind of where I, I'm gonna do them, look at the adapter cords. One of my things is wire-free setup, right? Then you have those Glide Livelys. You want it to you know, look cool with the Glide Lively lights, but then you have those stupid wires hanging out. So what I thought of is I went out and I bought some of these. They're called Leland Cord Mates. All they are is those plastic tubes that have an adhesive back and you can just stick them to your wall. You can see I have one right here going up to my Eufy pan and tilt. I have one right there. I also have one right there going down for my Echo Show 15. And then I have another one right there going down from my other pan and tilt. And they, they work well, they, look, they actually look pretty decent. So that was kind of what I was talking about earlier with the cords. I think they are just janky looking right there as like the one thing that upsets me about them. So I thought maybe we could throw some of these there and kind of hide them. And you know, these, they also come with corners so you could kind of go over and down to kind of make it look like a 90 degree angle. So you're not just kind of throwing it at an angle and making it look off. Uh, they have, actually have angles. They have a little piece where you can double up multiples. So, and they, they cut actually really well. And it's the same thing as those adhesive strips on the back of the Glide Live. It's just a piece of adhesive with a paper backing and you just tear it off and you stick it up against the wall. I have, they, they, they do have larger sizes also. I think they have like three sizes. I have this one out of the box. This is an old one. So, so just to show you, all you have to do is you open this up, you tuck your cord in there, and then when you get your cord in there, you just snap it in place and you're good to go. The cord's in the middle and it'll no, never pop out. And then you just slap this up, up against the wall and you got hidden cords just like so. So I thought that maybe that was a good idea. Figured I'd throw it out at you guys because um, I know a lot of people are the same as me and cords just bother the heck out of me. So uh, just a little tip, a little tip for you all, huh? All right, so anyway guys, let's uh, grab our phone, get on the Govi app, download it if you haven't, like I said, and we'll get to adding it. And we are also almost there. It is almost time for us to pull out the fireworks. So uh, let's go back to the table, get the app out, and we'll get this puppy added in, and I will show you guys what we'll do next. See you in a second. So we're just gonna go and head into the Govi app. All you have to do is go up into the upper right-hand corner and hit the add button. Go to the indoor lighting right there. You scroll all the way down. There's the 6202s that we talked about earlier. We don't want those. The 610Bs are on the bottom. We got the A's, so you would click that. Govi has a real good Bluetooth system. They would pop up right away if you have them set up, right? Just click on that. It'll ask you to rename it if you want. Um, and you're basically, you will be good to go. I already did it. As you can see, my top device on the right there, the Glide Livelies, and you just click on that. And boom, we are connected. 
and you can turn them off from the top power button. You can turn both of them off, turn both of them back on, or you can turn them off individually, as you can see. Anyway, uh, there's an effects lab where you can go in and you can see all the colors, ingredients, you know, different things of donuts, natural colors, um, just all sorts of different stuff. Uh, scenes, they have a lot of scenes you can go through, just different colors, bouncing, different things, forest. Um, let's go to emotion and we are excited. What's that about? Yeah, there we go. Uh, funny. Ha, ha, ha. Let's dance. I don't know how dancing is funny. I guess if you're intoxicated. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so there's all those. There's a DIY section. And what you do there is you just go into the DIY. And you can start building your own. Like I have my own Jayhawks one here when they play. That one I built myself, uh, and you can add one from the upper right-hand corner. You just start building your own. Just go from the on-screen instructions and do what you like. And you can also bounce to the music. I have the music playing right now, obviously. But uh, So that is basically that. You got your brightness. Uh, timer, you can set it to a timer. You can set individual times. You can set individual devices, sleeping, wake up, so on and so forth. So that is the Govi Glide Lively wall lights, guys. Now to get down to business, huh? Who's ready? I'm ready. Okay, you do one thing about this. You do have to have a backlight system, basically the immersion kit, whether like I have the Govi lights there on the upper left, I have the immersion kit with bars or the only other one you can have is the uh, immersion kit without bars. Or now they have like the T1, I think that one works with or without bars. But if you go into that and you go into, I suppose we had to turn them on, and you go into movie watching dream mode and you can see down here, you scroll down. If you have any other devices, which you have your Glide Livelies, just go to manage the devices and your Glide Lively will pop up without a check mark. Just check mark it and any other ones you might have and then hit OK. And now we're gonna have all of those devices in our controlled devices. So we got our, all our devices in there. Uh, we could go to area settings. This is where you're gonna set up all of those devices. So this is the coolest part, guys. Okay, so now what we can do is we're gonna be able to run everything the exact same as the immersion kit so whether we're playing music or if you want to do the scenes or whatever or watching tv remember we have that camera up top we're going to be able to follow the color color on the tv with all of these devices so with these numbers now like the glide livelies okay see where i have five six six ten nine nine look at the on-screen numbers that is where my Glide Livelies are. They're in the 10, 9, 5, 6 area, right? I put two nines because they're a little bit lower and two sixes because they're a little bit lower um, on the wall. And then short strip. I have 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7. I actually have them under my coffee table right now, uh, but I kind of just chose 8, 7, 7. Then I have short strip 2, which is over on that right wall. See that 15? And then I have the classics, which is over on the left side on the back window, um, which is number 19, you see there. So that is what those numbers correspond to. So wherever you have your Glide Livelies, you will want to enter that number in the field up here, right? So you'll just click on it and then we want a six. See how it changed to a six, but we're gonna leave it with a five and then you just correspond to where your Glide Livelies are on this number field or number layout that they have here, okay? So you do that with everything you have, all your strips, your Glide Livelies, your hexes, if you have some of those, any anything that works with this. So then you hit the check mark, right? Now we're gonna go up to sync all. So now I'm gonna go ahead and you can adjust all your stuff down here that you want. 
um, part of a, part of the back, your saturation, um, your movie, your game, so on and so forth. Add sound effects if you want. That is controlling all of them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get off of my phone and we are gonna watch this little gradient soft color changing ambient uh, mood LED light free colorful video backdrop um, on TV and see how it goes. All right guys, here we go. I could not find a decent spot where you guys can see all the lights. So I kind of pulled the one out from under the coffee table. There's one over there. So as you can see, we put one there. We got the Glide Livelies, the backlight. We have the one that was under the table, and then we have one back over there. And everything is syncing with the color of the TV. <laughs> so, could you imagine if we had that light, the one on the ground actually put up somewhere, you were able to see the one back off in that corner, and then this one was kind of tied up under this railing, and then we also had our Glide Livelies and our immersion kit running all at the same time, simultaneously. It's just, it's so cool. <laughs> guys well you just saw it the dream view from Govi uh, was the anticipation worth it was it was it all I cracked it up to be I mean is that not the coolest thing ever how you can sync all of your lights like I said you could get the hex uh, little squares up on your wall and do that you could get their little color changing lamps and set one over in the corner and have that match up with it all of your LED strips I kind of wish I would have had all these strips in place but I just couldn't wait to show you guys and so I just kind of laid them out around the house um, but you, I, I think you definitely got the concept right can you imagine how cool that would be how cool it was right think about watching a movie with that Having your light strips in the perfect places, your Glide Livelys on, your immersion kit, uh, another light strip over here, one over there, one back there, and everything syncing with color to the TV. You're basically getting a surround sound of color is exactly what it is. And it, it's quite amazing. I, I think it is anyway. I hope you guys did too. So anyway guys, there it was. I mean, uh, I hope you liked it. I hope I hope you liked it as much as I cracked it up to be. Uh, please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer them. Comments, questions, suggestions down below, please. And if you could, please like and subscribe so we can keep doing things like this, experimenting, finding new cool ideas, working with each other. Huh? Pretty cool stuff, man. Uh, anyway, guys, that'll do it for today. We set up the Govi Glide Lively wall lights, and then we synced it with the immersion kit and all the rest of our Govi LED lights, and I think it turned out pretty well, guys. Uh, again, Ryan from Thread Chemistry, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Peace.